You broke me when you didn't love me. You broke me when you took this and you took that. You broke me. But God said I will create in you a new heart. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Those old wounds are deep. Are covered in the blood. And therefore you have been restructured by the word to remind yourself. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. You can't play the world and carry the anointing. You can't play in the world system and have an anointing on your life. You're either for him or you're against him. Either you're going to do what he said or you're not going to do what he said. Say, say. Let me make it plain. You can't get drunk. Mm. You can't play the mm. You can't entertain a spirit of lust and pornography. Mercy. Mm -hmm. You can't have gossipy mouths and backbiting ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have a sweet communion with the Holy Spirit. You've got to let go that nobody really understands. All I want is. I've met so many people, and all they want is, I want my mama to do such and such. I want my daddy. Daddy's going on. Mama's going on. And they still stuck on the I want to do it. Some of you have gotten caught up in tradition and how it used to be that you can't even enjoy when God moves in a different way. God is bigger than his last. <coughs> Let me say that again. God is bigger than his last move. If he moved you yesterday, he's a God that's bigger than that. Mm -mm. Some people, I believe, are almost there, but almost doesn't count. Some of you are standing on the edge of a breakthrough. Some of you are standing on a dividing line. Between a yes and a no. Between the struggle and the stress. Between the rest and the blessing. Between the weeping and the rejoicing. Just one step between empty nets and too much to handle. The truth is, most of us have been in this place before. So close your almost and reach out and touch it. So close to seeing that the prodigal son or daughter came home. So close to seeing your ministry lost. So close to a breakthrough in your finances. So close to accessing your vision. So close to close to be healing you emotionally, mentally, and physically, and spiritually. Get so close to the promise that you possess the promise. We've all been in that place before, and for one reason or another, we fail to do the crossover. It could have been the fear of the unknown. It could have been unbelief or pride or memory of past disappointments, or unjust decisions. God sent word to us that the temperature has changed, and I received a yes from God. Look at your neighbor and say yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Tell one another, I just want to help you get through. Mm -hmm. Tell one another, I'm reminded of the man at the pool, and I'm coming in, at the pool of Bethsaida, the place of blessings. No doubt he had seen many people get their blessing. Mm -hmm. No doubt he had seen many people get their deliverance well, well. and get their breakthrough. And no doubt the devil taunted him and tormented him and told him, you're never ever going to get it. You're never going to get out that debt. You're never going to get off that drug. You're never going to see your family saved. Well, You're never going to get that godly uh -huh. name. You're never going to have success in your ministry. You're never going to be able to let go of the hurt. You're never going to be able to forget what somebody did to you. You're never going to be able to forget the violation and the trust that you had in somebody. And they jacked you up. The devil's standing there saying you are never going to get there. But when Jesus got uh -huh. to the pool and stood in front of him, he did not address any of the negative things that the man experienced. In his life, he just asked us one question. Will thou be made? 
don't want to disturb what somebody is going through. I can't just stand there preaching and teaching a damnable doctrine that any road you choose will get you to heaven. I'm so glad that God stopped by on my watch and let me know that the temperature has changed. I'm so glad that God won't force me to get off my path, but I'm so glad that God gave me a new understanding that if I die, I die. No matter what somebody wants to hear, I'm going to tell them that Jesus Christ loves yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to let them know that I'm not sitting in a dead church, worn on a bench, and I don't know enough word to witness to anybody. I'm going to put my arms around somebody and the anointing in me, the one that made me feel whole, the one that took away the pain of my life, the one that let me know I didn't reject you, I loved you. I want somebody. The frustration is your spirit telling me mm -hmm. it's time for a change. Mm -hmm. When my feet start hurting me, I know it's time for a change. Mm -hmm. I know it's time for new shoes or bigger shoes. When my eyes start hurting me, I know it's time to change my prescription. Mm -hmm. I talked to somebody today who's agitated and stirred in your spirit because you sense God calling you to another dimension. Many times the agitation and frustration you feel is the unwillingness of the flesh to make the necessary mm -hmm. adjustments. Mm -hmm. But you keep wanting to do it the same way you've always done it. And God is saying the temperature has changed. Mm -hmm. But somebody today, I believe, is getting, is good way to say yes. Somebody today is letting go of the past. Somebody is moving with God and paying the price. And somebody's going to see the glory of God in your ministry, in your family, in your finances, in your health, in your relationship. It's time for a change. Is there anybody in the house? It's time for you to understand. I can't change your life. Mama can't change your life. Mom and daddy aren't your salvation. You can't be the God that presents them faultless before the living God because you didn't die and resurrect. Because when you died, you stayed in the grave. Somebody say amen. 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 I don't know about you, 2 Corinthians 3, 18, but we all, but we all with open face beholding as in his glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. It's time to change Bethel, Bristol. Yes. Why? Because yes. the temperature has changed. Why? Because there's a yes in the house. Uh -huh. If you keep sitting down in this house, you're going to die. You're yes. going to die a yes. slower yes. death, but you're on your what you used to do. God Amen. said, it's time mm -hmm. for a change. Amen. And God said, if you haven't really given your life to God, or your back's clear, mm -hmm. you can act your way and think you're getting ready to get better, mm -hmm. but until you get the power of the anointing of God, mm -hmm. you won't make it. You'll slip slide right back into the same thing you had before you came up into the church. Because you need the power of the Holy Ghost. And I'm not talking about power just to speak in tongues. I'm talking about power and strength that when the devil calls on you, when your flesh rises up and once you take your back and once you come, you need the Holy Ghost on the inside and say, no, no, no. I gave my blood for you. The blood is washing you. The blood is cleansing you. Church, I don't know. But when we did Bible study this week, when I listened to the answers and the understanding that people had about salvation, I understood it's time for a change. It's time for the church to recognize you were, didn't get saved just to come to church. You didn't get saved just to sing on the choir. You didn't get saved just to be on the bench. You got saved because God said, I have plans. So, you want to say, why is she so cookie? Because I changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mercy. Mm -hmm. In closing, I went to a place to 
don't work. Come to find out. The work was it. Mm. Come to find out. I was hurt. Mm. Oh, there were some old wounds. Mm. There was a thing in the pit. That I thought they had anything to do with me. Because mm. I had joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was doing ministry. Mm. Mm. But then, I found out that the voice in the past hadn't really gone away. Well, I could see it while I was away. Mm. I didn't just have a conception of God. Mm. My birth was lost. Mm. Aren't you a little <laughs> Yeah, mm. never like that. Mm. 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 Come on. you got. Because mm. it takes more than that to win a soul. If you want prayer, uh, my friend will come help me. Now I'm going to help me. It's a good help me. I wasn't sure if we were going to do it. That's why I stopped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 